I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, devastating tornadoes in the South, and former President Trump takes his grievances public in his first big campaign rally of the year. More than a dozen tornadoes reportedly tore through parts of Mississippi and Alabama this weekend, leaving death and destruction along a 100-mile wide path. We'll have the latest. Last night, the former president rallied thousands of supporters in Waco, Texas, with his latest line of attack. The new weapon being used by out-of-control, unhinged Democrats to cheat on election is criminally investigating a candidate as he and the rest of the political world await action from a Manhattan grand jury in the case related to alleged hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. We'll have new information on that case and the bigger investigation going on in Washington, where a judge is compelling some key allies of Mr. Trump to testify before a grand jury. We'll also look at Mr. Trump's increasingly threatening tone and the growing concerns over violence related to his legal troubles. The twice impeached form of president's rhetoric uh, is reckless, reprehensible, and irresponsible. It's dangerous, and if he keeps it up, he's going to get someone killed. We'll talk with Texas Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez about that and the new developments on border security. Plus, how do we keep the Chinese government from accessing Americans' information through TikTok? Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Mark Warner has a plan. We'll ask him about it. Biden administration National Security Council spokesman John Kirby will be with us following the repeated attacks by Iranian-backed forces on U.S. troops in Syria. Finally, we'll look at the renewed focus on the Federal Reserve with the head of the Minneapolis Fed, Neil Kashkari. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.